Representatives from the 51 winning party lists will join the 18th Congress. Beverdera was at the proclamation last night and has this report. Anti-Crime and Terrorism Community Involvement and Support, or ACT-CIS, and Bayan Muna topped the race, bagging the maximum three seats each. Ako Bicol, Sibak, Ang Provinciano, Juan Pacman, Marino, and Provinciano Ako clinched two seats. 43 other party lists have been assured of a seat each in the lower house. This includes Gabriela, ACT Teachers, Kabataan, and Duterte Youth, whose candidacy and campaign have been marred by several issues. For one, all of Duterte Youth's nominees reportedly backed out in the final stretch of vote canvassing. This led to former National Youth Commission Chairman Ronald Cardema filing for a substitution so he could claim the single seat allocated to Duterte Youth when the 18th Congress begins. The Comalek has since accepted his plea, but the question on his eligibility still stands on Cardema's way. Questions about his age are still abuzz as youth sector representatives cannot be older than 30 years old, but Cardema's Facebook profile claims he is already 33. Aside from these eligibility concerns, the Comelec is also aware about complaints that local party lists have deviated far from its purpose of strictly catering to marginalized sectors. The Paul body is now urging Congress to fix the country's party list system along with a stronger crackdown on vote buying. As far as Comelec is concerned, ang aming concern dyan is more on the uh, registration, accreditation, and then, uh, and then yung pagpaproclaim ng party list. So, doon lang yung limit namin for the party list system. Pero mayroon kami binabalak na siguro uh, maglalabi din kami na baka pwedeng ayusin naman ng Congress yan. Isa sa inaaral namin na pwede namin i-propose is diinan yung vote buying. Sana magkaroon ng separate legislation or batas on the vote buying. And then pangalawa yung party list. Inaaral namin yung mga pwede namin i-propose on how to enhance pa yung party list system na sana Babalik siya sa magiging marginalized representative. Meanwhile, the Paul body also reminded the newly elected officials to submit a report of their campaign expenses. Isama nyo yung mga expenses ninyo para sa online campaigning. Which means, kasama ang uh, information tungkol sa mga contractors, sino ang nagsalita para sa inyo online, kung meron kayong mga ginamit na mga influencers na paid. Alright? Uh, kami naman sa ganang amin sa Comelec, Iti-check din namin yung mga expenses ninyo against the standards that we know exist. No? Industry standards, we're talking about standards for how much ads, ads cost, in what medium, and um, ads of what nature. Manalo matalo, tumakbo o hindi, all of the candidates will comply. Um, because if they don't, well, there will be consequences. For News 5, Beverdera, we are One News.